in the beautiful state of Nebraska, the unemployment rate is below 2%. However, I bet that the use of resources has to be highly optimized for you to grow and be successful. This is what automation can do. Technology is continuing to evolve, and if you find systems that you're having to constantly babysit and try to figure out how to exchange stuff back and forth, you're not being productive. Automation is not about eliminating jobs, but making jobs more productive and more interesting, because the real value is in the human brain that creates solutions and frames problems in different ways so that they can be solved. Some of our biggest industry challenges really are supply chain and people. It really kind of boils down to that. We don't have enough people to do the work that needs to be done. And the supply chain is actually a result of the labor challenge because everybody is having the same supply chain issues that we are. Globally right now, things are more unstable than they've been literally in decades. It's a very interesting time to be in manufacturing. Supply chain problems, you know, are rampant everywhere. Our company, has to be dynamic. You have to continually keep your mind open to what the future is going to bring to basically be the most efficient. We're trying to do things different and to so allows us to go some new directions and be a more efficient company and at the end of the day that's what we're really needing. There is a growing need to connect all the way of the life cycle of, the, of a product from its conception, its design, all the way into the marketplace. That's what this system seems to do really well, is communicate, start to finish, design, manufacture, all the little offshoots you have to deal with as you're creating new things. It's about moving into the future, making things faster, more efficient. Being able to use the SolidWorks technology to take a 3D design or a 3D drawing and being able to simulate, you know, what machine is going to work best for building that part, you know, make your processes smarter, I guess, is probably the big thing. Coming through from, you know, the AutoCAD type industry into the, the 3D experience is quite a leap. It sort of took a while to get legs underneath of it, and then all of a sudden it's uh, through the roof. My Star Trek moment was seeing the simulation when they were able to move equipment around and then still simulate how many parts I would be able to make based on a different layout. Being able to program multiple robots with one system, you only are training a person how to use one system. We can focus on some of the other stuff rather than the tools that we use. It's all about that exchange of data back and forth between different packages and you don't have to try to stand up different packages and get them to work together. Everything just kind of merges in together. There is a deep transformation in the world of, uh, of manufacturing uh, to move from uh, you know, disconnected solutions, to move from a focus on feature and functions, and also to, to shift the concept of risk and investment towards an economy more based on services, on outcome. We like to say it is the authentic design experience that was invented more than 20 years ago. And it's all about simplicity, is to use, and being very close to the needs of, of our client.